de, de el barquito pequeñito que la hace. Okay, we need to speak in English now, guys. Wait for it, guys. Um, we're continuing this epic tour that Mr. Manuel from Valentino Custom Boats has basically showed me the entire OBX or what we call Outer Banks in North Carolina. Yeah. So you're going to introduce your friend. Yeah, Trevor. He's on the way here, I believe. Trevor is on the way. And Trevor builds a boat that you've been dying for me to see. Well, this is actually one of his mall right here. This is a small shop. Uh, he do a lot of small parts. He help people learn how to do uh, molds. He's very good on it. Making molds? Molds, yes. He's really good. And also, he's one of the first person in the whole Outer Banks doing a backing infusion. Really? So he's really good at it. Too. So you learn a lot from him? A lot, a lot. And you're vacuum infusing your boats? Correct, yeah. Which, they're eventually they're going to see that video. I'm telling you, they're going to see that video. I mean, vacuum infusion, a boat that has this division right here, two parts, mm -hmm. is tricky because you can lose air right there. Okay. So, so you don't want to lose pressure, so you have to tape it. all this inside, both sides, put wax inside. It's a little bit of uh, a tricky process, so you don't lose any, any pressure on it. Dude, different than a single single part mold okay so this is what size is, is this boat i believe that's the 19 if i'm not wrong uh, mold. yeah that's the 19. is he gonna is he gonna kill us for filming this like this I don't think so. wow dude yeah it's beautiful Look at this, guys. Dude, this has been, this trip has been uh, an awakening. <laughs> but the one you said that I was gonna love. The, the, the one that that version but finish. I mean, if you don't love that bow, I don't know what you're gonna like it. Let me see. Everybody wanna have that toy. This is Oh, here oh we are. there he is! He's coming with one. Look Wait it. for it! Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me, dude! What? Oh, oh my goodness! Guys, wait for it. That is wild. The ambush continues. Remember the color of the whole main that you built? Uh, you the GT! Yeah, this is the small version. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Alfred, nice to meet you. Alfred, nice to meet you. My audience is actually, we, we just started filming, we just got here, Trevor. Um, Manuel has taken me all around the city like to see all the cool boats. And he goes, he goes your favorite is going to be this 12 footer, wait until you see it. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what city is this? It's called, um, what is it called, Palace Point. Palace Point. Palace Point. Can we walk your factory oh, or, or yeah, all right. I, I wish it was clean. Hey, right, well listen, yeah, listen, yeah. that's that's the beauty I of got this. I a brand new 16 like that. That's a 12, I got a brand new 16 I'm working on now. Okay, I'm gonna get you a mic. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna talk about this. Okay. And then, I don't know, let's see what happens, My guys. The background is not photogenic. But it doesn't matter, listen, we've been in less photogenic places. <laughs> Trust me, I've been in some and I like the authentic, uh, when it's authentic, right? Because, look, like yesterday, well, I'll just say, there was a place I went to and there was a little bit of too much water on the thing, and I was like, dude, it's rain. I mean, there's going to be puddles. <laughs> Don't use your guys to do that, right? So, guys, we're going to go ahead and be here. Caliber Bo Works is going to happen right now. Let's go. Well, I got I, I got to give it to Manuel. He knows half of the Outer Banks. Wait for it, Trevor. So, welcome to Caliber Bowworks. Wow. Thank you. Welcome here. Um. Okay. So, first and foremost. 
Thank you for letting me and Manuel. Manuel. Obviously, you know Manuel. You've been talking to him for a minute. Um, so we're in your shop right now. Yes. Okay, let's go over here because we were just outside. Mm -hmm. You just pulled up with the 12, which we're going to see you right now because I think it's fantastic. All but right. there's bigger boats here. But let's get into, into the building process real quick. I want to talk about some of this. What boat is this here? This is uh, 29. Hey, you can be in this video too, dude. You've been on all the videos. You don't have to run from me, guys. That's uh, Manuel Valentino, Custom Boats, guys. He's helped me and he's taken me all, all around the whole OBX. And I'm, I mean, now I understand how how deep the boat building in industry is over here. Yes. And this is why you guys hate everybody else. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 I get it now. I get it now. Now I get it. I'm like, wow. These guys put so much love into the boats they're building. Correct. He was telling me off, well, maybe we were on camera, that, that you're like the first guys who started doing infusion down in the OBX. Yep. So can we stamp that as a, yeah, I was the first guy? Uh, as far as I know. Here. We, we started infusing my holes in uh, 2007. 2007. Mm -hmm. Now you know somebody in the comments. I did it in 2004, and I can prove it. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so Manuel says, "Hey, he's got the biggest 20, what? 29, 29 in the game. Like, this is a 29-foot monster. Tell me a little bit about this particular boat. Um, it's just it's our newest 29 center console. We built 29s in the past that were more express, um, cutty cabin style. Okay. And this is the, the all-new." Um, center console, twin outboard, uh, on an integral bracket, which creates a nice swim platform back there. Let's let's walk it real quick. Do you, have you made any of these yet, or is this the brand brand new all number one? What's this, the story? This is brand new, except for the amphibious one. Outside. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. What are you talking about amphibious? What, what, are, we, what are you talking We're about? We're doing amphibious? the same exact one that's amphibious. Wheels come down that are hydraulically driven, and you can drive up on the beach. What? Yeah. Where is that? Where are the wheels going to come down from? From uh, the back? I can show you up two out the back and one out the front. I can show you outside. So, so this one, this particular boat is going to be amphibious? Not this one, but the one just like it outside is. I missed the one outside. Yeah, so okay, I'll, I'll show that to you. Okay, so so let me see what's going on here. So you're in the process of making this particular boat. Yes. How far along are you? Um, just just started assembly. You just started assembly. Mm -hmm. Yep, got all the big parts built. It'll be twin 300s on the back. Center console with a head in it. Okay, so you've been making this style boat, and it's called Caliber, right? Caliber, yep. You got the 12, which is outside, 12. which we're going to see, which I think is like the perfect tender. Yeah. To just basically tell everybody, I'm the king of toys, get <laughs> off my lawn. <laughs> literally, literally. Like over here, I could see that pulling up at any place or any restaurant, and you're like, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like such a flex. Yep. Okay. And this is the all-new 16. Brand new. Yes. The, that's 16 the, footer. That's the, first, that's the first production hull. We have the original cold molded hull we built the mold off of. Okay. This is the mold. And then now what we're doing is building the liner mold. This liner mold will be finished on Wednesday and pulled. And this is where the you have forward seating, center console, uh, the well area back here. Big cockpit for a 16. So Manuel was also saying that you're like the king of molds. Yeah, I like to build molds. You like to build molds. I do. You know, we, we were just talking to Son Sonny Briggs a little while ago. I was lucky enough to meet him in person and actually get him on camera. And one of the questions was, you know, what, what would you say to somebody that wants to be in the boat business or something like that? He goes, you're not going to be in the boat business unless you like building boats. And basically, it's, I mean, it was such a small answer, like, but if you don't like it, you're not going to do it. It's a tough business. You it is really got to love it. You got to like it. Yep. And you like it. I do. And you like making molds. Yes, I do. Okay, so 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 okay, so tell me the thought process you got. The 12, the 16, and the 28? A 19. Where's the 19? A 21. I don't have any here right now. Okay, but yep. you do have a 19. A, a 19 and a 21. Okay. And then the 29. And then I also have a 38, which I don't have here right now either. Where where are you primarily getting your buyer? Like where what what type of buyers are you seeing from where? Just all over so uh doing custom all my life okay they, they're all over it, the the newer ones like this the smaller 
production style. Mm -hmm. I it's it's always shocked me. I thought I was building these for a certain buyer, but it turns out to be a completely different buyer. A lot of uh, my little small boats are being bought by people with big boats that uh, like to jump in these and run around instead of taking the hassle of the big boats. It's a get off my lawn flex. Exactly. Get, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come over here. Let's talk about this 16 real quick. So, so this is all new. Yes. Yep. So what made you want to do a 16? Maybe people were like, the 12 is perfect, the, but... The I great reception we have with the 12, and yeah. some people say, you know, I'd rather have a little bit bigger, take more people out, uh, be able to stand up when I run, and stuff like that. So okay. I figured I would do that. So, so this is hole number one? Yep. Yep. And that's the interior liner being built. When that comes out, you'll see the whole perfect interior, and then I have to build the top side mold. And the center console mold is being built over here. Is there, um, I mean, there's been a lot of nuggets that have been, that we've been blessed with this entire um, trip for me, right? Mm -hmm. Is there any nuggets that you can tell somebody who's gonna build a mold? You know, somebody inspires somebody. Um, there's always somebody that, that helped along the way. What would you say to someone that says, hey, what, what should I learn or what should I know about molds? Um, the awesome thing about molds is once you create a mold, you can build hundreds and hundreds of parts out of it and they're all the same. So the biggest thing about a mold is to make sure what you're molding is exactly what you want because they're all going to be the same. So. Is it better to make a stronger mold as opposed to a... Uh Yes, the, the stronger the mold, the longer it's going to last, you know, so. Temperatures and all that stuff, does that matter or anything like that? Or, or? Yes, they make um, different gel coats and different resins for tooling, mm -hmm. which can which can take the heat of several parts being built. So I've seen green um, colored molds, I've seen red colored molds, I've seen black colored molds. Yes. So the ones that I saw outside were black. Why? I just prefer it. Um, there's why there's a there's a preference though why what yeah what along the way has taught you that you like black well, uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. all my years with Buddy Davis all his were orange and okay. so when I started caliber 23 years ago I just figured I'd go black <laughs> okay so th that's basically your signature that you're like hey this is me this is what I want da 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 yeah I do good I like the black so one. this is gonna be the new mold the mold for, for the, the, the 16 the, the 16 console yes <laughs> So this is a molded bubble, helm bubble, that I faux finished to look like teak. And then I'll end up going there. So do you full finish, it, full finish it yourself? Yes. Uh, Izzy has uh, done a lot of work for me, and he's amazing. Izzy? Izzy, teak. Which is yep. right yep. behind him. Yep. Okay. And, and then, I talked to him, too, so I'm going to drop him to this video. Yeah, he's a, he's a great guy, does incredible, incredible work. Uh, in, in some of my smaller boats, um, I have been doing it a little bit myself. Okay. Uh, but I still bring it, Izzy in for all the good stuff. And you'll just paint it? <laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's just crazy. Um, what's this one here? So this is how you build molds. We had to first design and build a 16 footer out of wood, like a traditional cold molded boat, which this is. And once we get this how we want it, that's when we create the mold to make that one up there. Yeah. So this is, this, this is a 16 cold molded, which was at the time is called a plug. A plug. And build a mold off the plug. Yes. But this is a working plug, which this will be a 16 foot boat. So you're going to make this, you're going to turn this one into an actual boat. Yes. But it made the, the, mo the yeah. mold, mold, which is going to make hundreds of these. Correct. If it's uh, um, two part or one part mold? This, all mine have to be two part. Um, because of the bubble? Because of the shape. The the tumble home here mm -hmm. does not allow it to pull straight up out of the mold. Yeah. And because of that, we go ahead and we build in our lower guard and our intermediate guard, which of course won't pull straight out of the mold. Yeah. But since we're already stuck with our tumble home, we add that. That way the mold splits in half and we have everything already. Is that a signature? Uh... It's not, uh, not of mine, no. It's okay. Just a, it's a, it's a, it's an extra line on Carolina boat. A lot of people in the Carolinas like to, the, to it, like that, that yep, stuff. Yep. So, so did you make this out of wood yourself? Yes. So you know the cold game then too? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Because yeah. everything I design has to be cold molded first before I can build a mold. Okay. So do you get a lot of people that ask you, hey, Trevor, what are you doing this weekend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing next weekend? <laughs> what are you doing all month? So a lot of people pick your brain. Which uh, is, uh, yeah, which is great. It's, it's, it's fun to, to be a good boat building community and talk I, with everybody. I'll tell you, listen, um, seeing just the touring that I've done right now with Manuel and, and all the people I've met, I, I got a deeper appreciation and, and a much greater understanding of the area because of how you guys operate. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and I frankly think it's awesome. And, and, and to, to be able to film all this for my audience so they can see this, I mean, they're, they're gonna go crazy. It's not like every day you can be like, hey, you know, make a phone call, somebody's gonna show up and all of a sudden you're gonna, find, you're gonna learn something, you know? So 19 footer you put in here as well or is, or is it, how big can you go in here? Can everything as big? This is just a separate little room. We kind of do painting and stuff in like okay. that, but everything is usually just built out there. Okay, so what else have you found out about the market that, you know, you've done, you said you have a 38, a 29, uh, I mean, a 16, a 12. What, what has surprised you the most? The, the little boat that everybody wants? I, I think that little 12. Yeah. That little 12 looks amazing. That, yeah, it's just, it's a fun little <laughs> boat. And everybody sees it and smiles. I think it's cute. <laughs> Listen, but it's cute and it hauls ass. I yeah. bet you it goes fast. <laughs> you got a power pole on the one outside. Yeah. Let's go check that out real quick so All they right. can get a better visual uh, representation of this. I, I mean, I'm assuming a lot of people are using it as a tender, right, Trevor? Yes. But more, more people are just using it as a canal cruiser and a, just a great boat to jump in and go do, do things. I, I mean, guys, welcome to the Caliber 12. Yep. Is that what you call it, the Caliber 12? Yep. Look at the finishes on this. At boat shows, the customers gave it the nickname, a little buddy. A little buddy? Also two parts on this mold as well? This is also a split mold. That's split right. mold. Yep. The hull mold splits in half, then it's got a liner mold, and then a top side mold. You know, because down in Miami, a lot of the, the molds are just... Pull straight out. Pull straight out, right? Mm -hmm. And then and you work from that, so that... Yep. And then... Uh, it's it's our shape up here that makes it a 2 Manuel, part. get over here. Stop, stop trying to run from the camera. You're going to have your own video too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but it is, I, I, I want to just, I, I, no, you, you know. No, listen, I know. I'm trying. Okay, so so what he was telling me, because I'm, I'm learning on this because this is all new to me, and I'm not scared to ask questions. To me, there's no dumb question, as long as I get a smart answer, right? Right. So he was telling me that since you do infusion, when you have those, those the, the both molds together, if you lose air on that crack, on that seam, that's a problem. Correct. So what do you do in that case? The same... Put this up a little okay. bit, it's falling off a little bit, it doesn't matter. The same tacky tape that we stick the, the, vacuum, bag. the, the vacuum bag down with, okay. we also stick the mold together with that so air cannot come, can't come up through that crack. Oh, so that's how you prevent that from... It's a double right. face tape. Mm -hmm. uh, Trevor actually used two lines. I remember he put a one before this, the bolt and I'm after. Okay. So it, that gives you a double seal. Okay. Because you know, you want to make sure it's sealed complete. Let me get on this side real quick because I want Cause the sun to my back. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so, oh my goodness. This is such a pretty boat, dude. This is such a pretty boat. Look at this, guys. And then this is where the fuel is. No way. Look at that. Take your tank right out. Don't do it in. What? My little buddy. <laughs> okay. There's, there's storage in here. That's how, all deep storage there. How many people is this rated for? Uh, four. It's four, rated for yeah. four. With four adults in it, you can do 27 to 28 miles an hour. Here's a anchor locker. And then here's your... This this pop-up cleat goes all the way down to that bow eye. That's how he lifts it up onto his yacht. Okay. And then you've got your pop-up nav light. And then here's got 
It does have hydraulic steering. Um, this is all Izzy's work. All the boutique is Izzy. Oz, uh, Izzy did all this. Yep. That is incredible. And you know, he was doing some testing at the shop when uh, when we had gone over there. Um, and there's more storage in here. All the bilges are all finished out. Look guys, everything in there. And this is a customer's boat that just lets you borrow the boat for a second? I actually, he wants me to do a little bit of work on it this winter for him. Okay. Yep. What does he want to change? Because this is an actively active, used three-year-old boat. Yes, that is correct. This, guys, this boat is three years old. <laughs> I know it looks new, but it's three years old. Yep. That's crazy. And he put a power pole on that thing. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at that. That's just to go ahead and basically anchor. So, so a lot of people are using this as a tender for a lot of their bigger yachts. And that is correct. That's what this one's used for. Yep. Okay, so this one is the one that you're gonna have as an amphibian? Yes, uh, that one there. Amphibious? Yep. Um, you can see all this stuff on the front. That's where the front wheels go. Oh, so, so okay, so tell me what you had to do with the mold now. How, how did this become there, a, a challenge a for you? There's a separate mold I build that goes in the hull mold that gives us this recess right here. Oh. Where the wheels system plugs in so when they're up, the wheels are here. When they come down, it can drive itself right off the trailer. Not this trailer. The trailer is built for it. It drives on and off its own trailer. And that then, is so wild, bro. <laughs> and then back here. That is crazy. Then you got back wheels where I put in, I put these extra plugs in the mold. So, the back so they hide away. Yep. And then the your zip white trim tabs are way down there. Yep. And since the, uh, the the all three wheels work independently, you could actually squat this whole thing down on the ground to help somebody with disabilities or elderly on the beach or something like that. Tuna, in the side tuna door to get in and off off the boat. So what else do you have to do to this particular boat to finish it? Uh, we got paint, um, all the hardware, uh, waiting on the tee top. Are you gonna do a finish on on the faulty on the teak? Yes. You are? Yes. And guys, I can't see above here. I am super, super impressed. Um, these are also other molds? These are all the molds, yes. That's the top side mold for this, and the liner mold, the hull mold. Uh, there's the 19 hull mold and top side mold. Uh, don't like my molds outside. Right now they are. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, work. You, you, gotta, work. You, gotta, yeah. you got stuff to build. Yeah. Well, so I think you just. I think I probably. I think you probably just like to refix them, right? Yeah. Since that's what you like. <laughs> and that's the, the mold of the 19 there. Uh, that's the 29 the, mold. The, the, yep. the, the half of the 29. This one here. Uh, this one. This one is the. That's the 19 mold. Okay. That's the 29 mold half right there. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get his information. So, if you guys are interested in this boat, where can they find you, Trevor? Um, Facebook under Caliber Boat Works. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not on the other side now. <laughs> on the what? On Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, you know what? Your brother is running the Instagram. Is page, he? No? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because I've been tagging you uh, on it. But also, uh, I think uh, I believe you have one, but okay. I know you don't run it. Right. I know you don't run it. He's not a social media guy. He's listen, just a builder. Listen. He's just a builder. Just a simple builder, right? Just a simple builder. Listen, yeah. um, I've, I've been fascinated seeing how you guys think, right? Like just looking at the, how you made that insert for the mold for that to be amphibious, right? So you can put those wheels. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see when you have that done. Yeah, right. Hey, you got to get me a picture of that. How can they get in contact with you personally? Do you want to give out your phone number or yes. no? Yeah, yep. go ahead. Uh, Trevor at 252-202-1499. Guys, Alfred Montaner, get over here. Get over here. Stop running from the camera. <laughs> I need to be on the camera, guys. I want to thank these guys for doing this. I mean, Valentino Custom. <laughs> Valentino Custom has been an incredible host, guys. Trevor. At Caliber, check him out. You got his Facebook, and uh, I don't know. Tell him Nick, I saw you on Alfred's channel. And you know what we end up? We always end the videos at when I do the chit show, which is a boat ramp stuff, on the American flag. And every time I'm at a shop, I always <laughs> end 
on the flag. Upper Mountain Dominion scene as always. We're out of here. Boom!